like to think of the presbytery as the body that supports and coordinates the efforts of individual churches in the sense of we can do more together than we can do as individual congregations and so the presbytery holds us all together as a body. The mission and the vision of presbytery has always evolved based on the needs of the people and I think now that we are in a new world uh, an unnavigated world um, where everybody is trying to find their way. How do, how do I navigate this part of my life? How do I navigate my life spiritually or, you know, with my religion? Uh, I always think of the Presbytery as the body that helps the people of God and the churches navigate this new world. In these days, um, sometimes being a person of faith or trying to live out one's discipleship can feel very lonely. And even in a congregation, you might be the only person that really cares about Presbyterian women or that really cares about refugee response and, and get discouraged in that work. Whereas if you connect with you know, there's two people in that church, three people in that church, and four people here, suddenly you have a group that can make a difference. And when they asked me to be the monitor, I was like, you gotta be kidding me, I'm not gonna moderate this Presbyterian, I don't even know these people. And they don't know me. But that was the greatest blessing for me, is that the moment I started being engaged, the moment I took responsibility for saying, I wanna help this Presbyterian in the ways that we're not good, or celebrate where we are, things started to open up for me. And it's amazing how just serving on one ministry or, or one committee of the Presbytery opens you up to so many other different things. I know several people who are hesitant about being involved with the Presbytery for different reasons. Uh, some are that they feel totally inept, unqualified to do any of the work of the Presbytery. Uh, uh, or because they think it's too much work and they won't have time and energy to do it. I would encourage them to stop thinking that way because it's just wrong, first. <clears throat> but secondly, without you, we cannot function as a Presbytery. And so even if you don't have skills that you think you might need, you have a voice and you have the Spirit of God working through you and what God has given you to bring to us. I think I, my faith has grown. I think uh, my confidence has grown in being able to work with a bunch of other people from a bunch of different churches, uh, different levels of service in those churches, and just being able to be part of a community that is doing something that's important. You're not gonna know everything you need to know to do the job right away, but that's why we cycle. So there will be people there that will help you and bring you along and teach you what you need to learn. I love it. I think it's great work. I feel like I'm able to contribute and be part of the team. Committee work can be very boring, but if you're on that committee, it won't be that boring because we haven't heard your input. We haven't heard your opinion or what you think. You haven't shared an idea. But once you engage and just stick it through and speak and serve, I think it gets better. Because the voice that is missing is yours.